Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel Tiger and his family are going to play a fun game. Our family just purchased this beautiful wooden spinning wheel numbered from 1 to 23. And last night, Tiny Treasures numbered pieces of paper to play a family game together. This wooden wheel is from a popular store called Ikea. We love wooden toys and we also love games. This one allowed us to be creative. Here are the little cards numbered 1 to 23. Although if you land on the black, you miss a turn. But if you land on a prize, you get to pick a little treat from Tiny Treasure and Tiny Treasure's mini Halloween candy. And yes, we still have lots of Halloween candy because the rule in our house is too much sweets at once isn't good for you. So it's just a special treat once in a while. Daniel Tiger asks if his sister would like to go first. That's very nice of you, Daniel. She says, thank you. Baby Margaret spins the wheel and she lands on the white number 12. Let's find the number 12 card. There it is. Oh, and baby Margaret wins a prize right away. What would you like to pick, baby Margaret? A box of Smarties. Good choice. Now it's time for Daniel Tiger's turn. Uh-oh, Daniel landed on a black number 22. Sorry, Daniel, you miss your turn. It's Mum Tiger's turn. White number nine. Let's see what the card says. Go up and down the stairs two times in 30 seconds. I'll time you, Mum Tiger. Ready, set, go! You did that in 12 seconds. Good job, Mum Tiger. Now it's Dad Tiger's turn to spin. You landed on number six. Let's see what it says. Spell the word animal in 10 seconds. Okay, I'll start the timer. A N I M A L. Great, that was six seconds. You did it. And baby Margaret was the only one to win a prize. So she's decided to share her Smarties with everyone. And that is a wonderful act of kindness, baby Margaret. It feels good to do kind things and share with others. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Tiny Treasures and Toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today our Teletubbies toys are playing a game called Pool. And we have a little miniature pool table, but it only had paper. But most pool tables have a felt. So I glued a felt piece to the paper to make it look more real. And we're gonna try and play a little game. But first, all of the balls need to be placed in the triangle rack. Well, every ball except the white ball. The white ball is the one ball you hit with your stick, also known as the cue. Oh, sorry, Tinky Winky. You fell down. 
The white ball goes down here and Dipsy is going to break. That's the first person to hit the white ball and hit the triangle. But first we need to take the rack off. Lala, could you do that for us? Lala. We need to do it very carefully so the balls stay in the shape of a triangle. Uh-oh, the little green ball rolled. Uh-oh, uh-oh, the little green ball won't stay in place. It just keeps rolling. I think we'll just place it behind. Now Dipsy can break. Oh my goodness! Did you see that, Tiny Fans? Let's watch it back in slow motion. I hit the white ball, it bounces back, and then into one of the corner cups. Wow, that was a pretty neat trick. I definitely didn't do that on purpose. Now let's get back to the game. We're going to try to hit the red ball into the side pocket. Oh, I didn't quite hit it hard enough. Did you know that we love to play pool as a family? Tiny Treasures Mini is getting very good. Here is a cue stick, a real one. It needs to be chalked with this blue square, just like this. We use the chalk so that it, the pool stick doesn't slip when we hit the ball. Look, each of the balls are numbered. We have a yellow one, blue two, Red three, purple four, orange five, green six, burgundy seven, black eight, oops, it's upside down, and then the stripes, yellow nine, blue 10, red 11, purple 12, orange 13, green 14, burgundy 15. You either hit the solids or the strike balls, and the first one to put them all down, plus the eight ball, wins the game. Did you spot the mini Dora doll somewhere in the video? If not, go back and have a look. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Oh, ooh, look who it is. It's Iggle Piggle from our In the Night Garden Skittle set. And he has a number one. There you go, Iggle Piggle. Let's see who's next. Upsy Daisy. Upsy Daisy is red and she has the number two on the front. We're going to bowl with our special in the night garden toys today. And look, it's Maka Paka. He's number three. Maka Paka. Okay, we have one of the Tombly Boos. And they are pink with the number four. I believe this is Ooh with the brown hair. We have two more Tombly Boos. Here's a green Tombly Boo with the number five. And I think the red hair Tombly Boo is Un. Ooh. And finally we have E, who is yellow with the number six. Now I have one more soft character. Who is it? It's Mrs. Pontypine. And she has her binoculars. She is going to go look at the birds and the trees. Are we ready to bowl, tiny fans? I have set up our Skittles, including Mrs. Pontypine in the front. The Tombly Boos are in the back. I have my squishy ball. It's yellow, blue, and red, and it makes a sound. In bowling, if you knock all of the pins down on your first try, it's called a strike. Oops, I definitely didn't get a strike, but I knocked three of the pins down, Iggle Piggle and two of the Tombly Boos. 
Now if I hit all of the pins down on the second try, it's called a spare. Oh, and I only knocked down Mrs. Tomblyboo on my second try. I get one more turn. Yay! I knocked all of the pins down in three tries. Bowling indoors is a fun family game. You can even make your own bowling set with toilet paper rolls. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are here with our toy party po. Poe is dressed in her birthday gear, a beautiful pink tutu and a party hat that's blue with red polka dots. Poe is excited to organize her birthday party. We're planning some games to play, aren't we Poe? Here's one of the games we're going to play. Do you know what it's called? Let's read the words together. Ball game. It's actually a little mini basketball game. It's easy to set up. The set comes with three little orange balls. Now they may look like candies, but don't ever put toys in your mouth because you could choke. Toys are only for playing with. Now we put the ball on the platform. Oh, oh my goodness. I definitely missed the hoop. When Poe and her friends play the game, they're going to see who can get the ball in the basket in the least amount of shots. Oh my goodness. This could take me all day, tiny fans. Too hard. Oh, and I'm sorry, Poe. I got you in the head. It took me a long time before I even got close to the net. I kept hitting Poe accidentally. Finally, after about 80 tries, I got the ball in the net. Oh, Poe cannot wait for her birthday party. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. <laughs> Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we are going to play mini golf on this beautiful course with waterfalls, ponds, and flowers. Here's a sign that says golf here. We have the Teletubbies toys coming along with us for the fun. There's Dipsy in the hole. There are 18 putting greens. I recently watched a show on the use of pesticides at golf courses. Pesticides can be harmful to us and to our bees. I will make sure I wash my hands thoroughly and my shoes after we play mini golf. For your first stroke, always place ball between logs to begin. And the second sign says, please do not attempt to drive the ball to the pin. It can create divots in the grass. Before we hit the ball, we always see what's up ahead. 
Is there a hill? Is there a bump? And where's the flag? That was a good shot. It landed close to my ball. Usually the person farthest from the hole gets to hit first, but our balls are so close together that I will go second. Sometimes a course has challenges like a sand trap. It makes it hard to hit your ball out of it. Please do not putt from the sand trap. Place ball on green and take one penalty shot. Here is our first pond with a beautiful little stream and waterfall. There's also a little water fountain. I think I'll give my ball a clean. Oh, look who's having a little float. It's Lala. Ayo! We are on hole number 12, more than halfway through our game. There's another waterfall at the end of number 12 and someone's ball got hit into the stream. The next hole has thorny blackberries. The berries are still green, which means they aren't ripe enough to pick or eat. Now we are at hole number 15. We have three more holes after this, and then we're all finished. I line up my ball between the logs. Here is the last waterfall. We get to walk underneath it on the way out. There's a lot of algae growth and it's created a beautiful design on the surface of the pond. Hole number 18, the final hole. My ball is lined up. Do you see the flag? We're all done, Poe. Now we get to walk under the waterfall. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daddy Pig and Peppa are having a special daddy-daughter day. They're going to play a game called Croquet. Peppa looks at all of the different colors. Daddy, is it okay if I'm pink? That's my favorite color. <coughs> sure, Peppa. And I'll be purple. Daddy Pig and Peppa Pig each grab a wooden pig with two white stripes on it. Daddy Pig sets one up on one side of the lawn, while Peppa sets the other pig near the trees and flowers. Peppa Pig goes first. Oh, good shot, Peppa. You're pretty close to the pig. It's now Daddy Pig's turn. Daddy Pig's ball hits the peg. Daddy Pig wins the first round of croquet. Good job, Daddy. That was a nice shot. Thanks, Peppa. You go first again. This time, Peppa's ball hits the peg. But Daddy Pig still gets his turn. Yay! Peppa wins this round. It's a tie game. I love daddy time. It's time to clean up. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye! Hello 
and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are going to play another round of Crocodile Dentist. And this time we're going to do it with Kitty and our cute twist and chime Teletubbies who will get their fingers snapped in the crocodile's mouth. This is just a fun game and we love to play games as a family. Everyone is going to take a turn pushing a tooth. Which tooth will make the crocodile's mouth snap? I will begin by pushing the first tooth. And then Tinky Winky gets a turn. I think I'll push the tooth right here in the front. Ooh, I'm lucky. Okay, Tinky Winky. Good job. Who's going to go next? Poe? Next is Dipsy. Nope. Lala is too scared, so she wants me to push a tooth for her. Okay, Tinky Winky, it's your turn again. Wow, still no snapping mouth. There are only six teeth left. Oh, and Dipsy got snapped. Are you okay, Dipsy? Now let's see how many turns it takes me until the crocodile snaps its mouth. You count with me, tiny fans. One, two, oh, ouch. It only took two tries. I better try that one more time. Count with me again. One, two, three, four, five, six, six teeth. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we have Sky, Rubble, Chase, Marshall, Rocky, and Zuma from our Paw Patrol toy collection. We here at Tiny Treasures love playing games. Don't we, Tiny T Treasures Mini? Yeah. Do you remember this game? Yeah. There are tiny little objects in this little green bag. You need to study them. And I'm going to make one disappear, and you're going to try and guess which one disappeared. It's a butterfly, a horse. Let's see, we also have a little happy face man, a little miniature bowl, hammer, a little round picture of a teddy bear, a shell, a little goblet, puppy dog, and there's a little pink jewel, a block with the letters. What's on there? O. And on the other side we have? Y. That's right. And here's a little green wooden house and a bottle. This is a green stone and another mini tool. A wrench. Okay, so I'm going to cover your eyes, tiny fans. But first, 
study all of the objects very closely. And now I will cover your eyes with my hand and remove an object. Which one did I take? Hmm. It was the little bowl. Oh. Should we try it again? Yeah. Okay, so I will put the bowl back. And this time, let's have okay. one of the Paw Patrol toys take an object away. How about sky? Okay, I'm going to cover your eyes, tiny fans. And Sky is going to slowly take an object away and hide it behind her back. And now you need to guess which object is missing. The house. Oh, the house is there. Let's see what Sky hid. It was the little happy face man. Oh. Do you want to try again? Sure. Okay, this time Rubble will take an object away. I'm going to cover your eyes. Rubble will take an object away. And he's hidden it behind his back. What do you think's missing? Hmm. The wrench. You got it! Good job, Tiny Treasures Mini. Rubble likes his tools. Now, speaking of games, there are all different kinds of games. Board games, card games, guessing games. But there are also arcade games. And recently, our family went to an arcade where we saw a Paw Patrol spinning game. You push the button and whichever number the arrow lands on is the amount of tickets you win. Who is spinning in the middle of the wheel? Ryder. That's right. <gasps> Ryder won one ticket. Let's try it again. Ryder landed on? Two. Oh, seven. Seven tickets. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to play a game with our Sesame Street toys called Monkeying Around. This is a favorite game in our household. Will the monkeys fall into the pit of the alligators? Here are all the pieces. This is the pond with three alligators and they're very hungry. Here's the little dial where you spin to see how many monkeys you hang on your tree. And we'll put the tree trunk in the hole here. And the little green piece here and here. And then there's a big magnet in this part of the tree. It sticks just like that. And now we sort our monkeys. There are four different colors of monkeys. We have red, and we have orange, yellow, and blue. And you may notice that some of the monkeys are bigger in size. Each color has a larger monkey, and if you spin the dial that shows the monkey face, you must put your larger, heavier monkey on the tree. Let's get started. 
Elmo, you are red. Your turn to spin. Elmo got the large monkey. Big Bird's turn. Let's spin. Big Bird also got the big monkey head. Big Bird's going to hang his big monkey on Elmo's big monkey. Grover's turn. Oh my goodness. Grover, you got the big monkey too. Grover has the blue monkeys. He's going to balance the tree out. Now we don't want the tree or the monkeys to fall down. It will get heavier and heavier as we add more monkeys. My turn and I spun three. I must place three monkeys on the tree. One. Oops. Better hang the monkey from the tail. Let's see. There. It'll hook on better. Very carefully. And I'll hang this one from my first monkey. The tree got heavier and heavier, and Kitty showed up. Don't knock the tree down, Kitty. Ooh, that was close. Now, whoever hangs their monkeys up first wins. If the tree falls, it's whoever has the least amount of monkeys. Let's see what everyone has. Big Bird has three monkeys left. Elmo has four. I have three. And Grover has five. It's Grover's turn to spin. Only one monkey. Very careful. It's starting to tip. You can see the magnets separate. My turn. Two monkeys. Oh, oh my goodness. The tree fell on my turn. Watch back in slow motion. Kitty gets quite scared. What a mess. Some of the monkeys fell in the pool, and it looks like Big Bird and I tied for first, with three monkeys each. But I'll declare you the winner, Big Bird, since I caused the tree to fall. Time to clean up, Kitty. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We are still having fun playing family games at the arcade. Some of the kids' favorite games are the fishing games. Who can get the shark? It's worth 35 prize tickets. They work together as a team and Tiny Treasures got 35 tickets. Good job. Our family has so much fun at the arcade and we don't do it very often. The kids don't play video games at home. This is their only chance to play video games. And we make an experience out of it with tickets and prizes and teamwork. Let's see the final total of everyone's tickets. Tiny Treasures Mini. 14 tickets and tiny treasures 46 we couldn't resist this colorful fun looking game called fishbowl frenzy you drop a ball into a fishbowl they're each worth different amounts of tickets the biggest one being 500 tickets each bowl has a different fish or crab inside of it step right up and drop the bowl Win! Let's get started.
we push a button to release the ball. And it lands in a bowl for 16 tickets. Let's give it another try. Oh, and the ball lands in the top bowl worth four tickets. One last try. Every ball is a winner. 16 tickets. On the way back to our room, we run into a little wild brown bunny munching on some grass. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.